Welcome to our YouTube channel. Here we are going to focus about FIFA World Cup. Three referees who are going to participate in this World Cup. FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Asha Vista, the home of football. If you like, you can subscribe, comment, and share where you are so that we can grow together and discuss everything about football, especially this FIFA World Cup in Qatar. FIFA World Cup. Meet the female referees at Qatar 2022. Women referees have been selected to officiate at FIFA Men's World Cup for the first time in history. Here are the top things you need to know about Yamashita, Yoshimi, Salima Mukansanga, and Stephanie Frappa. We are going to use different articles talking more about those Three red referees who are going to participate in this year's FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. The three referees are making history as they will officiate at Men's Football World Cup in Qatar. Yamashita, Yoshimi, Salima, Mukansanga, and Stephanie Frappa are among of 36 are among the 36 referees selected by. For the tournament, the final is scheduled to for December 18, 2022. They will also be joined by Nauza Bak of Brazil, Mexico's Karen Diaz Medina, and American Catherine Nisp, who are headed to the World Cup as three of 69 assistant referees. Here are what you need to know about FIFA tribalizing officiated trio Yamashita Yoshimi, Japanese referee. She will appear at a second consecutive World Cup after officiating the 2019 Women World Cup in France. She also took charge at 2020 Olympic Games held in 2021 in a game between the United States and Sweden. But referring in Qatar won't be the only time she, she had made history this year. Yamashita was the whistle for Melbourne City 2-1 win over Joannam Dragons in the Asian AFC Champions League and FC Tokyo's 2 to nil win over Tokyo Choto Shang in J1 League, becoming the first female referee to do so. The 36 years old relation in opportunity to be part of history in spite of pressure that comes with it. There are hardly any female referee in the Middle East, so I would like to see that change with the Qatar World Cup as the Qatarist, she said. The fact that women officiate for the first time in the Men's World Cup is a sign to other people that women potential is always growing and that's something I also feel strong about. Salima Mukansanga, Rwandan referee, she has been officiating for FIFA since 2012, but as a younger girl, her dream was to play basketball professionally. I like basketball and wanted to take it very serious, she told the New Times, but Assessing the back skateboard infrastructure was very hard. That's how I ended up in referring, in referring, which is which I have also never regretted. And that decision that led her to the 2019 Women World Cup, the Tokyo 2022 Olympic Games, and now Qatar. Much like Yamashita, she also involved into Tokyo 2020 Olympics 
last year. Mukansanga is no longer to the world stage, having also taken charge at the Man's African Cup of Nations earlier this year. When named as an official for 2019 Women World Cup, she said, officiating at the World Cup is a very is a very first dream and for the tribal raising Rwandan the dream continues the next month Stephanie Frappe French official Stephanie Frappe is Frappe is arguably one of the most recognized name listed for 2022 World Cup The sat eight years old has a career retired with firsts and in Qatar she will continue to press a trail in her work. Frappa took the rain in her first final in 2019 at the World Cup in France and went on to officiate at the UEFA Super Cup final in the same year. In 2020, she made waves in the referring world writing her name in history books by becoming the first woman to take charge of men's Champions League match. A year later, Frappa would read the way as Atletico faced Chelsea in a second league round of 16 tie in the women's UEFA Champions League. Before being announced as a part of plan for Qatar, she also referred to 2020 Coupe de France final. Frappa's conduct on the pitch speaks for itself and has resulted in her winning IFFHS World's Best Women Referee Award three years on the bounce from 2019. The presence of women officials at the Men's World Cup will send a strong message according to the French women. According to the French woman, it is a strong rain sign for FIFA and authorities to have women refer is in that country. She said, adding her hopes that this decision can make things happen. Assistant referees at World Cup. The trio will be joined by three more female officials as FIFA selected 69 assistant referee for the World Cup. The aforementioned back Nadine and Nate will all write their names in tournament folklore. Each of them have had their different routes into the profession, but will share a unified history making moment when they officiate in Qatar. Medina began her career in referring by pure chance, but briefed it. It is a position that makes you fall more and more in love every day with football. USA Nesbit started referring as a summer job, but up until the 2019 Women's World Cup was a professional of chemistry. In 2020, she was named the Major League Soccer Assistant Referee of the Year, becoming the first woman to achieve such if it, it have been absolute honor to have people say that I have become a role model for women. Nets told FIFA. Net bit. So at seven years old, Buck didn't even realize that she had been selected in 69 men's name list until she had it in the press. It is very cool in this it's a moment of joy, of gratitude, and also a little sense of responsibility back toward the media. Despite any outside pressure, all the ground breaks officials selected for Qatar are relishing the opportunity to represent women referees in what would be a defining moment going forward. Thank you for being with us as we are making a summary of all referees, we, women who are going to participate in the 
FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. This is Ashraf Vista, the home of football. Coming up is another video focusing about Honre Salima Mkansanga. See you in the next video and we love you. This is Ashraf Vista. If you are new here, you can subscribe. Thank you very much and see you.